Hi guys! This tip will be especially useful for students who are still in high school, college or university and also for new graduates with little or no work experience. Sometimes my students ask me which section should appear first on their resume, the education section or the work experience section. Well, the purpose of a resume is to communicate your skills and your accomplishments to the employer. They want to know how your skills and experience and accomplishments can help them succeed more. And that's what you want to focus on in your resume. So, if you have any type of work accomplishments, or skills that you gained from jobs that are directly related to the job that you are applying for, you should put your work experience section before your education section. But if you don't have any work accomplishments or you don't have skills that you developed uh, in jobs that are relevant to the job that you're applying for, in that case, Put your education section first, but that's the only time you should do it. When you gain experience and you have accomplishments, then you need to switch that on your resume and make sure that the work experience section appears first. Now, when I say accomplishments, they don't have to be big, huge, life-changing, career-changing accomplishments. Think about action verbs that I talked about in a previous video and I'll post the link to that at the end of this video. Action verbs such as managed, organized, uh, led, those are not big accomplishments but they're important skills and so if you can use that and it's important to the job that you are applying for, put your work experience section first. I hope this tip was useful for you and as always, if you have any comments or questions, make sure to post them below this video.